Hello! In a previous video I sorted out the set of Alex drawers. It contains all of my watercolour paints. And while I was doing this I had a little helper in the form of Trixie, who appeared as soon as I started getting boxes out. I mean they just know, don't they? Well in today's video it's Gandalf's turn, and he showed up the instant I started filming. Though he seemed far more interested in grooming himself than causing mayhem. Don't mind me, I'll just stand here and wait until you're done. It's not like I need to be standing right there so I can do my filming. Ah, cats. They're everywhere I want to be. I guess I'll just work around you then. So, the point of this video. I tidied all of my watercolour drawers, but I have space on top to put some other things, so I ventured out to the shops and bought myself a few more little drawer units. All of these are from Officeworks. I already had the two wooden ones that are on the bottom, but I ended up getting these four rattan drawer units with two drawers each. They were on clearance and I just thought they'd look really good in the studio, so I'm going to fill them today with more stuff. Let's get into it! I'll link them in the description below if I can find them, but as I said they were on clearance so I don't know if they still have them in stock. There were white versions as well though. And of course I can't leave the top of them empty. I had this plastic palette which just doesn't fit in any of my drawers and I thought that would go on top nicely. I also have this gouache palette which I've had for ages and is full of dried art spectrum gouache. It will reactivate so it's not too big of a deal to use although you can see how much it's cracked in there. But this palette is kind of annoying because it is quite wide and it does not fit into the drawers. So I decided to sit it up there. Here I'll show you just so you can see it's almost there but not quite. Ah oh, that's so annoying. But never mind I can't win them all. It has been lurking in my studio though and I just haven't had a place to put it so I think I'm just going to keep it on top of the drawers there on that other white palette which I have not yet used. I don't know what to do with it. It's so big and bulky. And since I have another set of drawers I could put things on, Nick made me this little mini drawer that I can put my pencils in when I'm working on an artwork and it's so handy, especially having that velvet bit in the bottom so it keeps everything nice and protected. And on top of that I thought I would put my water pots which I use regularly. They're two chambered and so I use these all the time for my watercolours. And gouache paintings as well. I reach for these all of the time so having them up here is a really good idea. I can just grab it and move to my desk. But what to put in the drawers? Well next to my desk I have these two drawer units where I keep a lot of my palettes and also other things. I have one drawer for gouache and it is chockers. My collection has grown quite a bit since I used that drawer and I have all sorts of things just scattered around my studio at the moment so I thought I'd bring it all together and actually move them into my new drawer units. Hey, come back here. <laughs> I have tubes of gouache and also some little jars. Those ones are metallic gouaches by Art Spectrum. I really like them actually. I also have these four beautiful boxes of Irodori gouache by Holbein. They'd just been sitting on a shelf on their own, kind of away from everything else gouache related. And then I've got one single tube of Holbein gouache in pink because the Irodori sets do not have a pink. I also have these Art Graph tailor shapes which were in my watercolour drawers but really they're more of a water soluble graphite and I have the liquid pencil tubes as well. Where am I going up here? Oh yes I have these three aqua bronze powders which you mix with water to make gorgeous shininess. I have this little tube set that I have not yet reviewed of liquid charcoal. I've also got these four boxes of Derwent's which I have not done reviews on yet but I've got some tinted charcoal, pastel colours, and then there's also a metallic paint pan set and one more here is the graphy tint set if I can move them all off. <laughs> so awkward with one hand. So I am planning to do reviews on all of these later in the year so don't forget to subscribe so you can see those upcoming videos. And I have a bunch of boxes and tins here with different partial sets of gouache in them plus this Karen Dash gouache studio which I've had for years and I should review one day. But let's get some of these things into these drawers. And hopefully I can declutter my studio a little bit more. Oh gosh, it's such a mess at the moment. I of course have to label everything with my label maker because I will never remember what is in the drawers and I hate having to hunt through them all, it's such a pain. I can safely say that putting a label on with one hand while holding a camera is really difficult. This took me so long to do. And now I'm wondering if I really want to have the labels on the 
little leather handles because they might stick on and then never come off or damage and stain the leather. So I may end up changing my mind and taking those labels off, putting them somewhere else, but let's just get them in for now. So up here I decided to put my most beautiful sets, the Holbeins. They will not fit this way so they have to go sideways and they're going to have to stack on top of each other. Two in the front and two at the back. Personally, I prefer to have things all on one level, but in this case I am somewhat limited with space so I will just sit them in all together and I just want to have this as one single set so I can find them easily. I can just pull out the whole drawer anyway if I want to use them all. Or pull out individual boxes. I'm really happy that they do fit too high. Some of the other drawers I looked at were a little shallower and I don't think they would have fit these boxes but those go in absolutely perfectly. With a little bit of space on the left hand side there to put that individual tube, I can see myself getting more Holbein gouache tubes in the future because I really like it. And there's room enough to fit more. Does anyone else enjoy label makers and putting labels on things? Because I sure do. Let me know in the comments. I usually try to print multiple labels at one time because when you print it out there's always a bit at the end that doesn't get used. And this label tape is so expensive, it costs more than the label maker itself, it's so crazy. So I try to print as many as will fit, conserving as much label tape as possible, and here they all are stuck onto the handles for now, although I still think I'm going to change my mind on that. What do you think I should do? Keep them there or move them to maybe sticking onto the drawer itself? Anyway, this next drawer I'm putting in my Art Spectrum gouaches. I decided to keep them in this little case because I just put some all together and they're nice and contained. I also have this box with a bunch of loose tubes that I got in a subscription box. Turner Acryl gouache. There's also an ancient tube of Windsor and Newton gouache that I got at a vintage market. I initially put the Art Spectrum pots in here of those metallic gouaches, but I can't actually see what they are when I just open the drawer and look down. All I can see are the white lids, so I thought I would just write the names of them on top of the lids and it'll make my life easier. Because this gouache is not permanent, I can't paint a swatch on top of the lid. I mean, maybe I could and try to cover it with something, but yeah, can't be bothered. <laughs> if I see gold, copper or silver, I'll know what they are. But if you have any art supplies in your collection that are permanent, you can actually swatch the colours on top of the lids. This works really well for acrylic paints. And then you can see the colour straight away without having to pull the whole pot out and look for it on the side or look for the name. My writing here is so messy because I was holding the camera in front of me and I kept looking through it so trying to write while looking through the camera is really difficult but if I looked away then I kept dropping the camera away from what I was actually trying to film. I'm a professional videographer! <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. And messy writing aside, it's so much easier to just see which pot is which now. But I did actually end up moving these somewhere else, as we will see in a little while. And of course there has to be one pot that won't fit in there at all, because it's too tall and the drawer won't close. I don't particularly care for this gouache anyway, so it can stay out. It smells so nasty. I would not get any more of those anyway. So here was my initial layout, but that will change very soon. Moving on to the next drawer, I'm going to store the Karen Dash tin in here. I also have a swatch sheet of it and the Art Spectrum gouaches I have, but that fits in there nicely. I had some more space up the back, so I thought I'd put this other little box of Marie's gouache, and this was given to me by a friend. They are really old and only half of the tubes are actually remaining in it because some of them were totally dried out and unusable. I've kept the remaining tubes in the box for now, and I'm just going to put that one up the back. Not really sure what to do with that gouache, but I should do a painting with the remaining colours to see what I can get. And down here I thought I would put in some accessories that I have. This lovely gouache brush set by Etcher that was sent to me as a gift by the Alchemist Art Store. Those are special brushes and I want to keep them nice and safe. I also have this vintage egg tray, which I think would be really great as a gouache palette, so I'm putting it in there. And then this airtight gouache box that got mold all through it. I'm not going to throw it out, I'm just going to keep it in that drawer for now. And here's another thing I need to review. This is a box of gouache by Artex. They sent this to me in that big mystery box and I have yet to open them. I'm planning to do a gouache video with these really soon. I may have already filmed it. Because I'm traveling I've had to film some of these things in advance and I'm still not fully sure of my schedule yet. Oh, and I also had this little tin which I found somewhere and I decided to put gouache in. 
For some reason I was sent a second identical subscription box, don't know what happened there, but I've put the unused tubes in it so I can discern which ones are which. There's also an M. Graham titanium white tube there. While I was filming this, I had the idea that because I have so many metallic and pearlescent watercolours and gouaches, maybe they could all go in the same drawer. So I actually went through my watercolour drawers and picked out the pearlescent and metallic colours. I've got quite a few Kuratake sets. That opal colour set is brand new because I realised it was the only set I did not have by Kuratake. I had to get it to complete that whole set. Here are all the other ones. The Art Spectrum gouaches which were in that other drawer. The metallic Schmincke Aqua Bronze powders. Some cheap metallic paints from Kmart in those two little boxes. And this Shimmer Drops paint set that I got a few years ago. They fit in there perfectly. I'm so happy with that drawer. I also have quite a few soluble graphite and charcoal sets. I thought I could put all of these together as well. So those Gansai Tambis were in my watercolour drawer as well, but now they're up here. I think this makes a lot more sense. And of course there has to be a loose piece of something stuck in the drawer, so I had to pick that out. I think it was a bit of cotton or something. Don't know where that came from. But I won't have it in there. I'm really liking these drawer units. I think they look very nice. And my whole studio is full of mismatched quirky furniture. I like that about it. I also have liquid pencil and charcoal tubes. I decided to put these in a separate drawer for now. I've got quite a lot of space here actually and so I can always move these around if I start filling them up and grouping things closer together. But let's take a little tour of what I have for now. Starting up the top I have a few things that won't fit into the drawers but they stack on top of it quite nicely. And going into this first drawer here we have metallics and pearlescent paints. Also some pigment powders, basically anything that's water soluble is in there. And then next one down we have kind of a drawer that I'm probably going to change my mind on. But I've got those art graphs and a couple of the Derwent sets in there for now. This next one has all of the graphy tints and charcoal pan sets and those Gansai Tambi ones which have graphite in them too. That's soluble graphite. And then underneath I've got the liquid pencil and charcoal. Technically I could probably combine these two drawers at some stage, but for now this is what it looks like. I have a spare pencil tube there, which came in the subscription box I think. Then I've got a couple of heavy ceramic platters that I thought might go quite nicely in there. And down the bottom is this other really annoying palette that doesn't fit anywhere. I've had it out on a shelf for ages and Gandalf keeps standing on it. This cup actually fits in it, but that does not go in the drawer so it's going to have to stay up there and I'll have to keep the two pieces separate from each other. I've actually already used that pot a couple of times because it's handy to get now. And on this side I have all of my lovely boxes of Holbein gouache plus that single tube that I might add to one day. I really like that they're nice and safe in a drawer now. Next up is the Art Spectrum and Turner gouaches. I think these look nice and neat and it's just easy to grab them now rather than all in the same drawer, which I had before. Then I've got the Karen Dash gouache set and those Marie's ones up the back. I could probably put more things in here, but I like it just as it is for now. And down here I've got the accessories, the gouache brushes and one other palette. It's actually not meant to be a palette, but I've turned it into one. I just think it's so cute. And I've got that airtight one in there, which I will do something with eventually. <laughs> The drawers do move around just a little bit and they're slightly awkward, but otherwise I'm really happy with them. I think they look great. In this wooden drawer I've got my Artex gouache, and in this tin I remembered that someone had sent me some of their Windsor and Newton gouaches in little pots, so I've got that there to be used. I really need to try and use those ones up before they go too dry and not re-wet very well. <laughs> and last up I've got some empty paid tubes which were actually in this drawer all along. One day I'm going to hand make some watercolours and fill those tubes up. But here we go, I'm so happy with this new layout. And here's just a little pan shot of all of this nice area that I have finally tidied. We will ignore everything that's surrounding it because I've got a whole lot of mess in other places, especially on the bench behind it. But one area at a time. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up if you have. If you haven't already seen it, you might want to watch my previous video where I tackled this drawer with all of my watercolours. Pure chaos. There's the video there for you to check out. And I've probably got some more studio organisation over this side. I have been needing to sort this area out for a long time. I'll see you all again really soon in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!